Yeah, so you can just talk straight to me. I'll chill right over here. Hi, Beth. Hi. How are you? I am well, and yourself? Yeah, really good. Um, <laughs> this trip is like, it's kind of become a normal thing for those of us that have been on the team for a while, but have you ever done anything like this, like with no. a group of people that you're working with? Well, I shouldn't say that. Not for as long. Um, we've had, with the De Kine, we did shorter, like, two or three day trips where we'd go skiing or we'd go mountain biking, but nothing where we were gone for this period of time or that required, I guess, being as prepared. Yeah, totally. Um, so before this trip, what was your longest uh, dual sport? Or we, well, we trip? did a week. We did a week uh, where we went down to the Alvord Desert and made a loop out of it. So the Alvord was our first destination. And then we went up into the Steens uh, and then came back, uh, and the entire time on dirt went fine. And as soon as I hit pavement, I went over a nail. <laughs> oh my god! And we had to do a trail or a, a roadside uh, change of my tire, which was more exciting than it needed to be. Yeah. And also learned that places in remote areas are not really well prepared to assist motorcyclists no. and their need for repairs. Yeah, this is this is very true. So I think this is a, an interesting question and a good question too for you. It's not like just totally random because you've done these sorts of trips before. Um, and I'm asking everyone the same question. Just I thought it would like tap into the very human element of like why as individuals we decide to do this strange thing of unsupported multi-day trips where you're coming out into the heat of the desert and you know I was sort of begging for a bit of misery so why do you do this I I like to control things and I like to make sure that everything has that it goes in a certain way and on most occasions it fits into that pattern and the only reason it would deviate from that pattern is because I make the conscious choice to have something go a different way. Mm -hmm. And being in this type of environment or being out on this kind of trip, you have to let go of some of that because you can't control what nature is going to throw at you. I, I can't control the weather, unfortunately. So I can't make it cooler or warmer or sunnier or wetter. Like that's all out of my control. And mm -hmm. things happen. I planned ahead on this trip and I had so much water. And the first thing I did was crash and scuff up my large water bladder so that it leaks. And then all of a sudden that piece of that control piece was out of my hands because I didn't have that anymore and you have to be able to adapt and I think that's a great way for myself to have some growth and maybe that I can take that like look you could handle when things throw you off your game and so maybe when something happens in my day-to-day -day life then I can reflect back a little bit and be like see you didn't lose your shit. Like you can make it through this, adapt, and it's good and it's okay. Yeah, yeah I love that. Uh, so you've had quite an interesting <laughs> trip, you know. <laughs> like, let's just address that right up front. You know, I, um, I, I love that we got that initial question, the same question I asked everybody uh, out of the way. But, but now, man, let's dig in a little bit on like this has been particularly interesting for you because it definitely wasn't as planned. Like none mm -mm. of us knew how this trip would go. We've never done a trip like this with as many people yeah. as we had. Um, and you've sort of been off on your own journey a little bit on the trip and um, with, with a total stranger, somebody yes. that you haven't ever even worked with, JC, um, you know, is our road boss, but doesn't work in the office with us. And you're relatively new to the company anyway. So this whole thing was just total wild card. Um, you've handled it very well. So I see, but <laughs> tell us a little bit about that. Uh, a lot of discomfort, just being put into situations where I don't like to be. And I mean, even going on the trip was yeah. a huge thing because I always like to try to set things up. So I have a person, like a, someone that if I'm not necessarily, if things aren't clicking for me, a person that I can kind of cling to or is my safe spot. And so going in knowing I didn't have any safety net uh, was very scary. Um, and not knowing how dynamics would work out, being kind of the new person um, 
and not ever having known anyone. I mean, even Jack being a little bit newer, at least had known Paulina before and had mm -hmm. these interactions where like, I'm really the one person that is the wild free card, mm -hmm. you know, and what does that do to all the dynamics and how do you fit into things? And am I gonna get abandoned somewhere in the desert because, oh, I think we lost someone, but I don't know who that was. <laughs> <laughs> and so having that be a part of it. And then um, also, I mean, showing up and obviously having different gear to start with and just being like, damn it, like I, I didn't want to stand out and I'm standing out right out of the gate and so. Have you f ever felt more, has there ever been a scenario in your life where you felt more that way, where it was like no. more obvious? Uh, wow, no, that's this huge. No, is, this is the most like sore thumb feeling thing and like how do I fit into things and the first couple of days were definitely rough and just like I don't, Dude, I'm not at the same. Dude, I'm in my eyes a little bit right now, like <laughs> what does that feel like? It felt really, I felt really isolated. I felt really alone. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it was like, and fortunately or unfortunately, we still had cell <laughs> service. So I could, there were people in my life that I could be like, guys, I am really losing it right now. Like, Whoa. just listen to me. Like, I don't need anybody to, <laughs> to come rescue me, but just be my sounding board and be like, yeah. it will be okay. And you will get through it. And it was interesting that on the morning where I woke up feeling the worst, over the course of the day, things transitioned in a way that it was like, oh, like other pieces started to fall into place and things started to happen and things got said and it was like, okay, I'm not completely out here on an island. And even though I feel really awkward and weird, I'm not, I'm not making poor choices. I'm not doing things that are making other people question me or regret having me here. So like, it started to progress in a way where I was like, okay, this is, I mean, this is going to be fun. There's going to be fun moments. There are going to be moments that are hard, but that's supposed to be like, that's how that's supposed to work out. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, it, it is okay. And, you know, relax a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> so wow. it was interesting how it all just kind of played out and worked out and, you know, kind of buffed a little bit.